Good. Heinrich finally sent you. Let's get started. How am I supposed to help? You're the doctors here, not me. The treatment has to attack the infection in a few ways. Medically, technologically, and psychologically. You're here for the last part. Look, I'm glad there's a cure, but I don't understand what you need me for. One of the things that baffled us about the infection is that even when we cleared up all of the symptoms, the patient still wouldn't respond to external stimuli. Eventually, we discovered that a psychological connection was necessary for recovery. Psychological connection? What do you mean? We need someone the patient knew to help bring them back. Records show that our test subject, Nico da Silva, worked with... You're experimenting on De Silva? Yes. He may be a sleepwalker, but he's still an XCOM agent. That means taking risks. I'm sure he'd agree if he could communicate. If it means bringing back De Silva, I'm in. What happens if this doesn't work? Physically, he'll be fine. But every time we attempt this without him recovering, he slips further and further. Then let's get it right the first time. Sounds like a plan. So, what will I be doing in there? I'm no surgeon. Nurse Campbell will be handling all of the medical procedures and assisting you. We just need you to be an active participant, and be ready to respond as he begins to come around. What should I expect? It's sort of like waking a sleeping child. They're trapped in a dream world, and you have to bring them out of it. Give them a reason to wake up. Hell, why don't you just smack them? Always worked on me when I was a kid. No, no, no. It can't be that violent or distressing. Try something friendlier. Something to draw them out. I'm not known for being friendly, Doc. I've heard. But too much pressure and they might retreat back to the dream world. Apparently, Mosaic has built quite a comforting prison in their heads. Sounds cozy. I can see why they wouldn't want to come back into this world. It's like breaking an addiction. You need to help them. But you have to be stern. But not so much that you drive them back. Friendly, stern, but not too stern. Got it. Let's get to it. If you're right, this should be easy. If it were easy, we would have cured it a long time ago, Carter. Now hold still. <laughs> Looks like my time is... <laughs> Not today, it isn't. He's all ready. Try talking to him. How are you doing, pal? Goodbye, Carter. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere, Nico. Carter. Good. No response. Reapplying. Try him again. How are you doing, pal? Goodbye, Carter. Come on, De Silva. It's time to wake up now. Huh? Just... leave me. Pulse is up slightly. You're getting through to him. Go on. Come on. It's time to wake up, De Silva. No. More... war. It's still wartime. We can't have you napping, soldier. No. No more... Carter. He's slipping back. Try it again. Come on. It's time to wake up, De Silva. No... more... war. It's okay. The war's over. You can wake up now. Good. I'll just... sleep a little. He's slipping back. Try it again. Come on. It's time to wake up, De Silva. No... more... war... Come on, De Silva. You don't want to miss humanity's finest hour, do you? Yes... Yes... Got to... Get up. Keep going. Almost there. That's right. You've got to wake up, De Silva. Got to... Get up. Yes. You'll be the first person to recover from being a sleepwalker.
Come on. Got to. Got to. Oh. Damn, that was close. I think you can take another attempt, though. That's right. You've got to wake up, Desova. Got to get up. Yes. You can't give up now. Carter, I have the weirdest nightmare. You've got him, Carter. He's awake. <sighs> what happened? We'll tell you all about it, but first, we need to get you back to health. Carter, I owe you another one, don't I? Try not to talk now. You've lost a lot of strength. Heinrich will want to know about this. Nice job, Carter. Looks like you were just what he needed. Well done. That won't be easy, but you just proved we can cure the sleepwalkers. Give Heinrich my congratulations. Why would we be refining Illyrium to this degree? Officer, I trust the infiltrator is secure. Oh, he's been an absolute pussycat since you killed Axis. Can't tell what's gotten into him, but either way, he's secured. Strange, but I won't complain. Just watch yourself with him. Of course, sir. Vigilance is my watchword. Okay, then. And how are you holding up? Oh, that's a little more complicated. I heard about your family troubles. Any improvement? Oh, Percy and his team brought my girl back, along with the rest of the family. It was nice to have a chance to talk with her before the infection got too bad. I know how tough that can be. But don't worry, she's in good hands. Oh, I know. It's just that, well, my parents were staying with her. And they were drinking the same water she was. Oh. We don't know how much time they've got left. Maybe it won't even hit them, but at least they're here. We can't afford to take chances this close to launch. If there are any security concerns, I need to know. Believe me, I know. And the entire security team is on high alert. Enemy has yet to find our location, but we've been putting in defenses to prepare for the day they do. Good to know, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Security can't afford to be optimistic in something like that, sir. I'm not sure I trust him being this quiet. He might be planning something. I don't think so. He hasn't said a word to anyone, and he's barely eaten anything. And he's still disconnected from Mosaic. Hmm. Maybe he's sick, or... Hell, I don't know. Ever since he heard you got Axis, it's like he's waiting for something. I wonder how he'll respond if we shut down Mosaic. When, sir. Not if. I know you'll do it. I've got to get going. Of course, sir. Go and put an end to this war. For all of us. William Carter, it is you. You're not normally like this. I am not sure. I was having visions of Axis, of origin, of my people. Dreaming, huh? Perhaps that is the name for it. It has been more intense since I was disconnected from Mosaic. You mentioned your dreams. What do you see in them? My people, rushing forward like a tide on the ocean, surging across your world and building everywhere they touch. Sure sounds like your war plan. There is no stopping them. They are an endless mass. And above them all stands Origin, gleeful, turning your world into a husk, just like we did to our own. That's not gonna happen. I'm gonna make sure of that. I know you mean to destroy Mosaic and free us from Origin, but I fear that will not be enough. But it'll make a difference. One step at a time. How are things for you here? Some of the scientists are curious and cruel. The guard, Richard Rose, he attempts to protect me. It is appreciated but insulting to a warrior. Good to hear. 
We need your insight if we're gonna save our people, and convince them to accept your people as refugees. I will assist you in any way I can. What should I expect on your homeworld? Why... would you need to know that? Because it's time we took the fight to them. This is a foolish thing you do, William Carter. Even the most remote parts of our home are protected. We've taken precautions. Just tell me what to expect. It has been so long since I saw my home. Decades of war on other planets, only sharing memories of what we fought for. Towers jutting into the sky, gunships patrolling every sky lane and always poison in the air, in the water, and in our minds. I see. Pain, William Carter. You should expect pain. Get your rest. Sounds like you need it. Thank you. But the visions of your planet... Perhaps... If you can stop Origin... Ah, William! Good news, I hope. Come, come! We're gonna be relying on your work. As do I- Don't think- Um... It was touch and go for a while, but the cure worked. Excellent, excellent. If the underlying process is successful, then perhaps we can find a solution for the messes. I sure hope so. You can't get me to be friendly to everybody in the world. I was surprised we were able to get you to do so for even one. <laughs> Back to work. Bug-Eye Bastard is charging me. How do you know it? My gun jams. With a new toy. And suddenly... How can we be sure our water supplies are... Contact control of Michigan's Upper Peninsula is nearly complete. Casualties minimized due to effective evacuation. But they are there to be crouched down. Took him out. Can you believe it? I heard Weaver strangle son of a bitch with her bare hands. Come on, Percy. Maybe we can win this thing after all. Oh, let's not get carried away here. I mean, we got one of their Look sharp, Agent. We've got a war to fight. Hey! Hey, Agent Carter. Oh, looking good. I'd offer you a cigar, but Quartermaster says we're all out. Whole base is worried about the end of the world, but you seem pretty happy with yourself. Why is that? Why shouldn't I be? I was promoted to team lead. Congratulations. We need more teams out there. Every little bit helps. Yeah, well, you just wait, Carter. Maybe next time, I'll be the one they're calling a hero. I hope the agents under you are just as happy with your leadership. Ugh, they're the worst. Always getting themselves into trouble. I mean, who did I piss off to get saddled with a load like Newcomer? They might not be the problem. You're right. Might be the gear. Old Webb has probably given us junk just because he's bitter we're still out in the field. Sure, that's what's wrong. Of course. Stopping Axis wasn't about getting glory. It was about saving the world. Nice speech. Practicing that one for your medal ceremony? Listen, 
If we can't focus on the war, there won't be any medals. Or anyone left to give them. Sure, that's why you're volunteering for the mission to save the Earth. We're all working towards the same goal. Don't blame me if I get the big missions. There's no shortage of things that need to get done. Sure, securing supplies and evacuating civilians. Can't make a name for yourself by scavenging and fleeing. No, but you can save a lot of lives. If you'll excuse me, I've got to prepare for the big mission. Sure, sure, just rub it in. The big ones? Yeah, the ones that run right at you? I could do without them. Get those evacuation orders out, and keep the agents defending the high-profile targets. Yes, sir. Understood. We'll keep everything running until you return. Your inexplicable confidence is noted and appreciated, Chelsky. Well, here's Carter now. Carter, good. I'm told that everything is ready. Yes, sir. Glad to hear it. We'll depart within the hour. That's it? Carter? No speeches? Nothing to say? This isn't the time for speeches, Carter. You know what's at stake, and you know the odds. Yes, sir, I do. I'd expect no less. Don't sound so grim, old man. I'm not that easy to kill. Every man has his limits, but if anyone can pull this off, it's you, Carter. That's because I don't do things halfway. And that's exactly why I picked you. I just don't understand. Our missions have been a success. No, your missions have been a success. If you'd call losing two towns and barely escaping with your objective successful. And even so, no one else has your success rate in the field. We can get more agents, better training. The outsiders are the ones with an endless stream of troops, not us. There's only one option. We've got to take the fight to them. Hasn't this origin been around for... well, forever for all we know? What if stopping him and shutting down Mosaic isn't as simple as shooting him in the head? We've made every preparation we can with the information we have. And if that's not enough, well, you've shown a talent for thinking on your feet. You're telling me to improvise? That's a change. What if we get there and I don't have the tools I need? Don't worry, I've got a backup plan. But frankly, you're the best chance we've got. Supposing we do manage to close the gates, what happens to the outsider forces on Earth? I'm leaving a detailed battle plan. It's currently being distributed to the acting Joint Chiefs. The hope is that once we've separated our world from theirs, enemy supply lines will be cut off and the individual enemy platoons will be severed from the Central Command. This ought to give our military the edge they need to finish things. Doesn't sound like you plan on being around for the cleanup. The odds of us returning from this mission are slim. No use pretending otherwise. I'm ready to go. I'll meet you in the Avenger. You know what's at stake here, Carter. And you know the odds. You've survived this long. I know you're the right man for the job. 